Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this horse. It's to go with our barnyard animals. I've had a few requests over the time for a horse. Now the materials I'll be using are four ply crochet cotton. My light brown is the main colour. My dark brown is for the tail and the mane. The white is for the face marking and the black is for the hooves. I've also got sewing cotton and a sewing needle to stitch it together, a 1.25mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends and scissors. Now I'll start with the head and my light brown. I make a magic loop and work one chain and seven single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the chain. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and work a single crochet in the same place as the chain and then work 1 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches. And then work one chain and turn. For row three, I work one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch across. And I've got five single crochet. For row 4 I work 1 chain and work 1 single crochet into each stitch across to the last stitch and I work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 I work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch across until the last stitch and I work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 I work 1 chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch across. For row seven I work one chain and turn. I work a joint single crochet over the first two stitches one single crochet into each stitch until the last two stitches and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row weight I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 9 I work 1 chain and turn. I work a joint single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 
a joined single crochet over the remaining two stitches. For row 10 I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the stitches. And that's the head done. We don't fasten off. We're going to do a neatening row now. So we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch right around the head. So I'll work around the head. I won't fasten off when I get round to here. We'll start on the first ear. When I get round to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch into the one chain and then slip stitch into the following stitch and work three chain and a join double crochet into the same place as the chain and the next stitch. And fasten off. The other ear will be worked in these two stitches before the next corner. So I'll join into this stitch here work three chain and work a join double crochet in the same place as the chain and the next stitch and fasten off And that's the head done. I'll start on the white marking now. So I make a magic loop and into my circle I work three chain and one double crochet. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row two I work three chain and turn and I work one double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the top of the three chain. For row three I start with three chain and I work one double crochet into each stitch and one double crochet into the top of the three chain. And that's the marking done. I'll fasten off. For this front main part, using my dark brown, I work seven chain I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch in the second. I work a single crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the following stitch. I slip stitch into the next stitch and work four chain. I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the next a single crochet into the following stitch and then a half double crochet into the next
and then I miss one stitch on the original chain and slip stitch into the next. Then I work three chain. I miss the first. I work a single crochet into the next and a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the last stitch of the original chain. And fasten off. I'll start with the body now. I'm going to start up behind the head. I start with four chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. For rows two to four, I work one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch. That was for rows two to four. For row five I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. And then I work 15 chain. That's for the back part. Now I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each chain and then along the neck part. Now rows 7, 8 and 9 I work the same. I work one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So I work rows 7, 8 and 9 with one chain and two single crochet in the first stitch 
and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and then I'll be back. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 11 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch until we get to the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we work one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 13 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then we work one single crochet into each stitch until we get to the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're going to start on the back leg. We work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. And a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And then work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next, next stitch. For row 16 we work one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 17 we work one chain and turn. We work 
two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 18 we work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 19 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and now we work a joined single crochet into the same place as the last part of the joined single crochet and the last stitch. So we have two stitches left. For row 20 we work one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each stitch. And for row 21 we work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet into each stitch and fasten off. And that's the back leg done. For the front leg we join three stitches back from the front just in there and work one chain, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. For row two we work one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row three we work one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 4 we work one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 5 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then we work a joined single crochet into the same place as the last part of the joined single crochet and the next stitch. So we've got two stitches left. For row six and seven we work one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each stitch. For row 8 we work one chain and turn and we work a single crochet into each stitch and that's the second leg, the front leg finished. We're going to do a neatening row now so I don't fasten off. Now I prefer to work slip stitch down the legs just to make it a bit thinner so the legs don't get too fat but if you'd rather work single crochet that's okay. So a single cro a slip stitch into each stitch down the leg or a single crochet if you'd prefer.
Now into the body I work a single crochet into the first two stitches a half double crochet into the next stitch a double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a half double crochet into each of the following two and then a single crochet into the remaining ones on the body Now I'll just work a slip stitch into each stitch around the leg. I'll work a single crochet along the top to make it easier to do my hoof and once I get to about here I'll start working single crochets up to the back. So I'll work around to the back and I'll meet you there. Now I'm to the back, I've worked one single crochet into the first stitch on the back. Now I work one half double crochet and then into the next stitch I work one double crochet and then I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I continue working single crochet around until I get to the leg. Once I get to the leg I'll work a slip stitch up. And so I'll finish my neatening row and I'll be back. At the end of the row I join with a slip stitch and fasten off. And that's the horse's body done. I'll start on the mane now. I start with 12 chain. and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then work a single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet in the following stitch, and a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then slip stitch into the next chain now I work 5 chain and slip stitch into the second chain from the hook I work a single crochet in the following stitch, then a half double crochet in the next, and a double crochet into the next. On my original chain I miss one stitch and slip stitch into the next. Now I work four chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, a 
a single crochet into the next stitch and then a half double crochet into the following stitch. And then I slip stitch into the last chain on my original chain. And that's the main. I'll start on the tail now. I'll start with 14 chain. I work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch. A half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. A single crochet in the next stitch. Three single crochet into the following stitch. and a slip stitch into the last chain. And then work three chain. For row two, I work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then two single crochet into the following stitch. Now I turn it and work into the back of my previous row. I work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a slip stitch into the next stitch and then we turn. We work one chain, miss the first stitch 
and slip stitch into the next stitch and then work a single crochet in the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches Two half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the following stitch a single crochet into the next and then a slip stitch into each of the following two stitches and fasten off. And that's the tail done. If you preferred, you could just thread some cotton or wool for the tail and the mane, but I didn't think it would wash up very well so I decided to crochet mine this time. Now for the hoof, we join our cotton at the end of the leg. And to work three chain, work a double crochet in the same place as our chain. And then one double crochet into each stitch across and fasten off and the other hoof has worked the same I'll just work the other hoof and weave in my ends and I'll be back to put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first thing I'll do is attach the marking to the head. That will go in there and I'll also embroider on the nostrils. I'm going to stitch on the eyes now. I'm going to use the black cotton four ply that I use for the hoof and then I'll put a little white dot in the middle. I'll also put on the little bit of mane for the front. Now the head's finished so I'll attach that to the body. It just goes on like that and slopes back a bit. I'll also attach the tail to the body and then I stitch the mane at the back just between the ear and the body just in there I just stitch it along the back. And there's the finished horse. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with details of my website. I have all my patterns up on my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.